Hey guys, Ari here, and uh, back again on the uh, back on the pair pair of houses. We're uh, doing a bit of picking dip with the frog bricks today. Uh, only got a little bit of footage on here because we're only on here a couple of hours, and then uh, we got pulled off. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? But we didn't. We got taken off there to uh, oh, some wall plates I fucked up. Uh, they're all ten mil high, but. It will fuck all. I'll join there, they got over it. Anyway. Anyway, we uh very dry bricks today. Should have really left these uncovered. Get a bit of mo moisture into them. Uh, for tomorrow, it's meant to rain, I think. But, God, in the, these bricks, how dry they are. It's like literally point them up as you lay them. So we're doing about two course and pointing, maybe three. Uh, we, didn't get, we didn't get any more than three course on this because we had to go and... We've been, up on the uh, other plot this morning, doing some uh, fire socking and insulating, and then then we had to go back after a snap and go and alter the wall plates. So a bit of a fucking broken up day, but uh, not to worry. Always tomorrow. You know, smash these up tomorrow. Get this gable up, and then try to get the other gable up tomorrow. And front and back, easy enough. Got a little new profile set up uh, with a few with these gable profiles I bought. The, the, the good as a stabiliser for aluminiums and uh, also good for uh, obviously the you know your cut ups where you're overselling bricks on on uh, you know on your apex but yeah not been a too bad day uh, the heat's really kicking in really feeling the effects gonna start drinking more water uh, obviously shorts and t-shirt man mandatory now gotta have them on uh, might end up dousing the bricks with water if it starts getting uh, as hot as it is. Just pour, getting a few buckets of water in the morning, pouring the uh, pouring the water over the bricks. It just makes them a little bit more more usable when it's uh, when it's wet. You know what I mean? Mortar's already really like piss, so you know the mortar does last. Actually, to be fair, I got it pretty wet this morning. A nice big swim, swimming pool at the bottom of the tub. Uh, that I got mortar out and it lasted, you know, it lasted a good three or four hours after I got it. Uh, you know what I mean? In the tub because we didn't end up using it. And I was gonna, gonna, I was gonna blast all these bricks in and uh, brim the tub, blast all these bricks in, and get about 500 in, and then, uh, and then get off and that. But it was, uh, it didn't go as planned really. But we'll try again tomorrow. That's all you can do. Not gonna get down on you, son, if you don't get done what you wanna, wanna achieve in a day things happen to you know put spanner it works not always gonna fucking lay a thousand bricks in a day i've never done it yet you know I mean, most of the laid in a day is about 800 uh but you know there's things i do that i've spent i'm speeding up every month every year that goes by i'm speeding up with using less effort so if only uh there will be different different types of work you're gonna lay more bricks on than others it's just the way it is, you know what I mean. And uh, all can can affect you if you if your uh, if your carry is a bit slower. Like my old man's a bit slower. He can't quite keep up with me. But I help him out through the day. You know, getting gobbo, getting uh, doing a bit of jointing because he can't keep up with that. And uh, you know, you know, he slows you down a little bit. But you know, it's not all about making the most amount of money every day. It's not all about that. It's about enjoying it. You know what I mean. If you're working with a complete tosser, you're not going to enjoy, even if he's the fastest fucking labourer or bricklayer in the world, and you're making a load of money, you're fucking, if you're not enjoying it, it's not worth being there, you know what I mean, so. Anyway, uh, but yeah, this lovely weather's getting get, getting to where uh, the, you get having to get the mortar a lot wetter, and don't, isn't ideal for picking it, but I'm that fucking lazy now, I cannot be asked to do any other method. Uh, I was trying the long spread, but these bricks especially, they do not they do or they do not uh, you know hold the wetness the very 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 porous bricks it'll soak up the water quickly so uh, especially the mortar we're using at the moment tarmac fucking old batch that we've got again on this job tarmac silos with a fucking green cementy gobble it's like khaki green as you can see not very nice to lay with very sticky and very uh you know, a bit shitty to work with. Not the worst though, not the worst. But, uh, tried a few different methods with the frog bricks. Obviously the regulation, you're gonna lay frog up. But with the pick and dip method, you are 
piling your gob up on the wall so theoretically you, there's not going to be any voids because you're putting your v's in so they should fill the frog as you go using the frog down but i got to a point where i was using frog down and it wasn't really filling the uh, the perp the bed joint as nice as i like i didn't have as much control as i'd have liked so then i went back to frog up and it was working a lot better so i'd say any with tips when it comes to laying frog up especially with a dry you know sahara desert brick as i call them where they soak up all the water and the and make the gobble dead hard to get you get a bit of a slightly wetter mix even if that means knock it even if you get a tub out and it's a bit stiffer just put a bit of water in it keep wetting your boards up and even just pouring some pouring some buckets of water over your bricks to just you know saturate them a little bit but they should you should just eat up the moisture a bit more and uh, make them more workable throughout the day so i'm going to try that tomorrow especially uh especially if we get if we get going and it, it's getting hot especially if it's going to be a really hot day I'll, i will i will pour some water over the bricks uh, just to just you know just even over the top first top few to see how it goes and uh but you want to make sure it's clean water or else you'll obviously fucking smudge all your bricks up so make sure it's clean water that you're pouring over them and uh, they come up nicely but yeah uh, if you could see uh, if you could see at the uh beginning of the video i put up a picture of my profile set up with the uh cable profiles i think i mentioned these before very helpful indeed uh, it takes a slight a slightly bit longer to set up uh but overall the right first time uh, i'd actually say they mimic the time to set up as using a uh using what you call it a uh point trial behind the profile it's it's not always you know you think you're doing it quicker because you're wedging a, pr a pointing trial but you're you're leveling it multiple times you're not getting an accurate you're not getting a stable profile and that's the main thing with these with these profile stabilizers for aluminiums you're getting a more stable profile i'm going to convert soon to using a a, a big long draper level two foot uh a, you know six foot draper level as a profile instead of using aluminium box sections i'm just going to put some gauge tape up one side of them and uh and away we go uh I can't emphasise on gauge tape how much time it speeds you speeds you up over a day. Uh, just not having to rely on using your tape measure every every time you're moving the line up. Gauge tape gives you a consistent gauge all the way up, and then you just got to measure off your formers. Then just, you know, make sure you you work to your, to your former right, and then you won't go far wrong with your heads. And uh, and yeah, but yeah, I'd say I'd say all in all. I know what one thing you gotta do using the picking dip when you're scraping your backs off for the cavity side depending on what site you're on and how big the cavities are you want to just be just pat just be filling in filling in your joints with the back just scraping them up the back because obviously at the back of the joint on picking dip don't always get filled scrape it up fill it and then i like to do every three course or so about length of me length of me trowel i just like to scrape off the excess sort of cake like icing cake icing it looks like in the cavity I had to scrape that up to dust and that'll just and when it goes especially when it's when it's uh, a lot drier especially if you've plastered it right up the brick you scrape off you know you scrape off give, you don't have to completely make it flush back to your bare brickwork but scrape it nice and smooth with the back of the trowel and it just it'll just float dust sand and dust will float into cavity and it shouldn't pile you shouldn't get them pile per snots as you as you would in your bottom of your cavity tray if you're using like a radon tray system on your site you just don't get that pile up so if you just keep it like dust you just get dust in your cavity and if you've got some chlorine oils left out it should just float out your float out your tray so so yes yeah, so i didn't get a lot of footage today but i'll try to get a lot more tomorrow i'm going to record a bit more tomorrow and uh we only had a, we only had a couple of hours we, we got up got up on the scaffold at about 10 o'clock with a tub and we're by by half 11 quarter to 12 we're fucking going back down it so we only had a couple hours so anyway guys thanks a lot for watching 